from Dallas to Los Angeles and a screen near you. Here is B Wildcat 2. Hello everybody, it's B Wildcat 2 here, and I am back with week 9 of the Desmond Howard Heisman Challenge here in NCAA Football 13. And yes, NCAA Football 14 is out. That doesn't matter to me. I finished I started this series and I want to get it done, you know. That's like with the rest of my series. I I don't want to pull a blank throw and not finish anything that I start. So Anyway, we're going to finish up this series as quickly as we can. I'm working on the rest of the series that I have uh, that are still remaining from NCAA 13 that need to be finished as well. But this is week 9 of the Desmond Howard Heisman Challenge here in NCAA Football 13. If you don't remember last time, we lost against West Virginia and won against TCU, putting us at 6-1 and one on the season now. We're taking on the Kansas State Wildcats in Manhattan, Kansas. Desmond's going to make a catch on a slant pattern to start off the video and get a first down. There's a season stats to this point. As Desmond looks to extend the Red Raiders uh, record to 7-1. and one. First and 10 looking to make a catch on the slant pattern again. He's got it another first down. And he's brought down at about midfield or so. Take a look at the replay here. Calling for the ball on the slant pattern because he was wide open. And he makes the catch. And he almost breaks out of those tackles. But it's enough to pull him down to the ground. And get he gets the first down anyway. The Red Raider mascot is loving it. So 7 nothing Kansas State now, 34 seconds remaining in the first half. Desmond looks like he's got a streak pattern going here with 34 seconds in the first quarter remaining. And Daigie's going to throw deep towards Desmond, and I don't know what happened there with the gameplay, but apparently Desmond did make the catch. We'll take a look at a replay right here, I believe, and uh, it will show what happened. Desmond went deep down the field, and it looked like it was tipped by the Kansas State defender, and Desmond caught it while sliding. What a play by Desmond Howard. My goodness, that kid is just unbelievable. Gets past his blocker at the line, gets the catch first and goal to the two. Desmond Howard with another catch, his fourth of the game already, and we're still, I believe we're not even out of the first quarter yet. Either that or we are just through or just starting the second. But it'll be first and goal for the Red Raiders, and I believe they would punch it in on the ground. And uh, you see the Kansas State defenders do not like that one bit. So 14-7 now in the second quarter. Looks like we're running the four verts, which as you know, usually do not work. Uh, or, well, they do work, but if you're a defender, they uh, are your, like, kryptonite. Going deep, Desmond Howard got it. Touchdown, Red Raiders on the streak and a little dive at the end. Yeah, no sportsmanship anyways. So... Uh, Desmond Howard, you'll see a look at uh, his highlights throughout the day thus far. Yeah, there you go, the tip and the catch while sliding. That was actually a nice play. I wish that my gameplay hadn't gone weird like that it did. I don't know what happened there. I recorded this back in August last year, so it has been a while, but Desmond's got five catches for 164 yards and that touchdown reception. We lead 21-14 now, a minute 14 remaining before halftime. Second and ten coming up after a coach runs to run a hurry up offense, and uh, Desmond's got uh, he's uh, looks like he's running a streak on the right side, and Daigie's in the shotgun all by himself. Desmond's going deep. Daigie looks to find him. Desmond makes the catch, and Desmond is gonna run all the way into the end zone. Another touchdown for the Red Raiders on the day, and they take a 28 to 14 lead now with a minute six to go in the first half. There's the Heisman pose for Desmond Howard. Take a look at this one more time. Calls for the ball once he gets past the cornerback guarding him at the line. And he just has a clear shot, especially with the K-State defender diving out of the way. And Desmond runs until he uh, gets into the end zone. So 28-21 now, 12 seconds or so looks like before halftime. Looks like another slant for Desmond on first and 10. Desmond going to ignore that. He's going deep. He makes the catch in stride inside the 20. And touchdown, Desmond Howard. Nine seconds to go in the first half. Extending the Red Raider lead back up to 14 at 35 to 21. Nicely done there. Another Heisman pose while he's at it. And uh, Desmond just makes the catch in stride, runs till he gets into the end zone, and it's another touchdown for the Red Raiders. That's what he's been doing a lot of here through this Heisman challenge. So into the third quarter, still 35 21, first and 10 now for the Red Raiders. Daigie all alone in the shotgun. Looks like he's got five wide receivers. And Desmond's coming on the wide receiver screen, makes the catch, gets the first down, and crosses midfield to about the 45-yard line. Desmond now has broken the record for receiving yards in a career for the School of Texas Tech, breaking, Des uh, I believe, Michael Crabtree's record 
First and 10, Desmond going deep downfield, makes the catch inside the 20, breaks a tackle, and he's gone to the end zone again. Another touchdown for the Red Raiders. It is 42-21, and Daigie has broken the record for passing touchdowns in a season, breaking Colt Brennan's record from Hawaii back in 2006. 42-35 as we start the fourth quarter. First and 10, Daigie in the shotgun. He's got a running back to his right. Desmond going deep down the left side. That is caught and tackled at about the 11. Weird not to see him make a catch and go in the end zone like he has been. But 10 catches for 107 yard, 407 yards it looked like and 4 touchdowns on the day for Desmond. It's 49-42 with 231 to go in the game. And Desmond's going to get past his man. He's going deep. He's going to make the catch. He's going to run with it for a while. He's going to get in the end zone again. Touchdown, Desmond Howard. And that pretty much should seal this game for the Red Raiders with another Heisman pose, Desmond Howard. Oh, my goodness. 56-42 to 42 now as Desmond just gets past both of those blockers, makes the catch, and he can run until tomorrow. My goodness, look at that speed. All the way into the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Willie Wildcat looks disappointed in the background. And indeed, the Red Raiders will win and extend their record to 7-1 and one on the year. They take down the Wildcats 56-49 as they were number 13 coming into the uh, into the game. Kansas State was 17. Take a look at the play of the game. Was was a long pass to Desmond into the end zone for a touchdown. They could have picked any one of those, to tell you the truth. But anyway, a great game for Desmond Howard on the day. A great game for Texas Tech. They extend their, or they've now won two in a row after losing the heartbreaker to West Virginia, where Desmond got injured and for most of the game and couldn't be out there to help his team. West Virginia did a good job there. They finally figured out what to do to how to beat these guys and see Colin Klein, or uh, yeah, Colin Klein is not too happy about that one, but he it wasn't his fault. Desmond just had a great game: 11 catches, 474 yards, five receiving touchdowns. And the Red Raiders can uh, win the shootout. They they sl- they could sling it more than Klein. Daigie was a better slinger than Klein was on the day. And the Red Raiders will pick up the victory. They ex- are now 7-1. and one, And definitely, even if they lose their last four games, we'll be going to a bowl game. But I don't think Desmond and the Red Raiders want to do that. So... Anyway, that will pretty much wrap up this video. Desmond and the Red Raiders now are 7-1, and one, and uh, next week will be Week 10, and I believe they come back home next week. We'll take a look here in just a second after the highlight reel is over, but it was not Klein's fault that Kansas State lost today. Desmond Howard just put on a show, and Daigie was able to find him 11 times, five of those for touchdowns. Take a look at that dive, and that's a nice shot. Anyway, so that will pretty much wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and it will be uh, week 10 will be coming up next week as you take a look at Desmond's stats on the day. And uh, week 10 will be back at home against the Texas Longhorns, who are ranked, and that will be the next episode. So come back for that. Guys, see ya.